Hi, I'm Dave and I'd like to show you some of the new features in the new scroll capture tool. Here we're looking at Internet Explorer 10 included with the new consumer preview of Windows 8. You can tell because the window has a square corner. We're looking at the Borowitz report and I'd like to scroll capture a letter from Mark Zuckerberg. So to do that I go to the capture bar and I click scroll. I select the area I want to capture. I'll just click there. And you can see that I've included, the selected area includes a bunch of blank space over here. We don't want that in our scroll capture, so I'm going to drag the edge of the selected area in. And on this side, we don't want that scroll bar, and we don't want this scroll bar either. So you can tweak the selected area by dragging with the mouse. You can also tweak by using the keyboard arrow keys. The advantage is you can move just a pixel at a time. There I moved a pixel up and down. I can hold down a modifier key, either the shift control or alt with the arrow key and change the size of the area. There I'm changing the width by one pixel at a time. So to capture this letter, all I have to do now is scroll down through the letter. I'm scrolling and whoops, I scrolled too far. That's no problem. All I have to do is go back. And note that the last line here is mark. I'm going to click done on the scroll toolbar. Capture Wiz will stitch all those frames together and here's the report. It says we could have scrolled much faster and it gives us this range of outputs. I'm going to check select sticky note and here's the sticky note. You can see that the entire letter was captured down to that last line we wanted. And I'm going to toss that out. We're done with that. Let me see my notes. What is next? We've done the news article. I've showed you how to tweak the selection area. I've showed you back up when done. Oh, how many pages can you capture? In one direction like that you can capture 60 pages. The next up is spreadsheet capture. Our next example is Ken's Movie List. This is a spreadsheet running in Internet Explorer. Um, there are many times you'd like to give somebody a screenshot of your spreadsheet. You may not want to give them the entire spreadsheet because they don't have uh, Microsoft Office or Excel or whatever spreadsheet you're using. You may not want them to see other entries in the spreadsheet or you may not want them to be able to make changes to the spreadsheet. So you can just take a screenshot of the entries that uh, you want to give to them. Um, most screen capture programs can't capture spreadsheets because they're infinitely sized. But CaptureWiz has no problem. What we do is we would normally click scroll on the capture bar, but you can you click the area button too, and I'm going to do that just for variety. Let's say we just want to capture these movies from 2005. So I'll cap select the area here, and now I can click scroll here. Uh, there, there are three ways to scroll through a document. You could We could grab that thumb and drag it down. That's what we did last time. You can also click the up arrow and down arrow buttons and you can also scroll with the mouse wheel. And there are sometimes good reasons to do that. I'm going to use the scroll down button this time. And we're looking for the last movie in 2005. And there it is. Click Done. And CaptureWiz stitches those frames together. It reports we could have gone much faster. I'm going to create another sticky note. And here's all those movies in a screenshot. 
we're done with that now. Now there's something I want to point out why you might want to use the scroll wheel or the up or down buttons. Watch what happens when I click the mouse button down on the scroll thumb. It shows me what row I'm on. There's a little pop-up window. Now in this case the pop-up window is pretty small and it didn't bother CaptchaWiz. But in some programs there are pop-up windows like that that are big enough to cause a problem. So it's just something to watch out for if you have problems. And let's see, so you've seen three ways to scroll through a document. Uh, next up is horizontal and vertical scrolling. For our next example, we'll capture this sky map that will demonstrate two things. One, capturing a pretty low texture image. There's just these little dots for the stars. And two, going both horizontally and vertically. I start the same by clicking the scroll tool, select the visible area, and now I start scrolling through the image. I'm going to go all the way around the outside. First I'm going to go around along the top. Then I'm going to go down. Then we'll go back to the left. And back up. And we're done. CaptchaWiz stitched the frames together. We'll open up a sticky. You may have a hard time seeing this, but I'll try and drag it around inside the uh, selection area so you can see that CaptchaWiz captured the whole thing. And there you have it. Next is capturing a drop-down list box. Our last example is a scrolling drop-down list. I don't think any other screen capture program can capture this. Here's Microsoft Word, and the list of fonts is an example of a scrolling drop-down list. To capture that, I'm going to start by pressing F10 to select the scrolling area. So, I pressed F10, it's going to ask me to confirm that. And now I select this area here as my starting area. Scroll. And now I'm going to scroll through that list. I'm not going to scroll the whole list because it's pretty darn long. Um, that's probably plenty. And now I click Done. Capture Wiz stitches together the frames. Here's our list of outputs. I'm going to choose Sticky Note. And here's our list of Microsoft Word fonts. Again, I don't think any other screen capture program can do that. And that concludes the demo of CaptureWiz's scroll capture capabilities. Thank you for watching.